unpredictably on you. And the whole idea of a crazy Ivan was that every so often, when submarines were following each other during the Cold War, um, the Russian captain, or Soviet captain in that case, would crazy Ivan. And the reason he would crazy Ivan would be he'd be worried that there was a... Oh, okay, there's two of them. And he's turning around a lot faster than I thought. So this is not working out for me at all. And I think a whole bunch more of them have actually managed to see me. Nothing in here. Okay, that's not good either. Um, right. Okay. Let's peek around this corner, see what we got. I don't know if the peeking is actually, like, dangerous or anything. Like, in... Like, in Dishonored, you can peek around corners. Same with Deus Ex, Human Revolution. You can peek around corners with no risk. But as soon as you decide that you're going to, uh... Stick your full head out, then, uh... You lose. Ugh, mince pie. For those of you who've never had mince pie before, um, let me just tell you it's one of the most foul things you can ever eat. Now, oh, pliers. That's useful. Um, I've never really had a lot of traps, so I've never really had much of an opportunity to be able to use the pliers. But they seem like they're kind of cool, so... I'll keep those in mind. They seem you know, an interesting addition to the game. I think they let you reset traps or something. And I found a well-cured ham. Okay, that well-cured ham is now mine. It's a uh, good thing my, uh... Anyway. So these guys are still wandering around, trying to uh, find me. And here's a door that's buried underground. And some pistol ammo, so that's... Oh, and some marble. So that's always useful. Okay, I've been seen performing my little raid operation on a town I still don't know the name of yet. More pistol ammo. I'm getting a little too bold for my own good. In a second, I'm going to get got. And there's nothing, you know... There's a bandage so that when I eventually get shot, I can take care of myself. Isn't that wonderful? I'm pretty sure I've already looked in this door, so... I should have really searched this village a bit more precisely. Okay, well, I'm running away anyway, so... I don't really see what's going to matter. Ooh, meteorite fragment. Okay, so the fragment is over there. We can go bag that in just a second. Let's go over the fence over here. And I think that'll be basically the end of the uh, robots following me. And over there, there's some kind of abandoned house that has no roof. I don't think I've seen that before. Now, as you'll notice, this piece of um, meteorite seems to be uh, seems to be untouched. I mean, sorry, it doesn't have any guards on it. And I think that changes later in the game. Um, so far, I've seen some of the fragments that have two guards, and so far, I've seen some of the fragments that have um, two guards and a dog. So I'm thinking the way that they do difficulty in this game is they just ramp up the uh, they just ramp up the number of guards on the the items. So you really have to develop, you know, some kind of plan to uh, to attack the fragments later in the game. So you absolutely have to get guns later. Okay. Well, I can't see the what I think is the entrance on this side. I don't have the uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is item five. Good. I'm going to see if there's another entrance to the church, because the big buildings in this game, they always seem to have, like, the best items, and that seems like the best, the most likely site I'm going to find the gun that I want. I've already been in the front, and I found some... I found some booze. Oh, okay, look at that. In the left uh, corner there, you see a little light in the... Uh, in the thing, so you must show up like a, you must light up like a Christmas tree for the uh, for the robots when you uh, when you happen to be wandering around with a flashlight at night or during the day. So that does seem like a really good uh, game um, thing. So now we're walking over to this house where we have to see this uh, broken down roof. 
and I have some high hopes for this place. Perhaps maybe we're going to find some, uh, perhaps we'll find some nice uh, guns in here or something. Or maybe it's just two houses fused together by the procedural terrain generator. No, this is like some kind of mansion. So this is kind of cool. There's a, a fire in here, which you can light with matches and cook food over. And there's two alarm clocks in this house. So those are always welcome. Um, yeah, I definitely want to have a look more over this house. There's also this X over the door. I'm not quite sure what that means. But it seems like this was kind of like uh, done in the Roman villa style. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm liking this map a little bit because it's it's a lot more urban than the last map I was on, even though it's still rural even though it's still rural territory, the map seems like it's a bit more uh it's got a lot more buildings for me to run in and out of, which I like. I'm just gonna see if there's some kind of door on this side of the building. I don't know what that is, some kind of window for arrows. Um I don't know why you'd build one arrow slit into a wall, but I guess I'm not an architect. Um, I think it was my great uncle or something. No, it wasn't a great uncle. It was like great great uncle who was an architect. And uh, he used to hate architects because all they do when they had their competitions was they build buildings where the roof leaked. Oh, look, it's the dog. Let's see if I could call a duty this guy's ass. Nope. I tried. I think you have to shoot them. Anyway, he's got me bleeding, and now he's... Oh, crap. I would advocate discretion. Okay, so well, unfortunately, the dog came with be some best friends. It to run and, uh, and hide. But if you have found a weapon, perhaps you I can haven't. use it to fend them yes, off. Yes, I haven't found a weapon. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, and I've been chased. That's not good at all. But hopefully I'll be able to break line of sight pretty quickly and get back to the stone circle and drop off this gigantic rock that I'm carrying. Now one thing is these rocks, these fragments must weigh absolutely nothing because, you know, I'm a you know, I'm a small guy in the game and okay, so now we can drop off our fragment. So that's good. Okay, so I'm putting the kettle on now, sir. To we'll have you home in no time. Okay, well, let's have some sherry, I think. Uh, that'll be nice, and uh, that'll get us all back up to standard. And now we're a little drunk, so let's go wandering around, dead drunk. Oh my god, this game is so promoting alcoholism. If I drank an entire bottle of sherry, you know, I'd be dead. I, w I wouldn't live. And I found some matches. I'm not quite sure what the function of them is. What are these? Okay. Um, yeah, I do like this map, I think, a little better than the last map I was on, because it seems like you can, uh, it seems like there's a lot more places to hide close to my, uh, okay, there's definitely a robot over there, so I think I'm just going to go adventure over this way and see what I can find with this sort of, uh, strange structure in the sky that seems to have no function. So I'm I'm still curious about exactly what this thing is. I think it's some kind of farming structure, like a grain silo or something. But I'm not really sure on that one. I mean, it seems like it seems like that thing I've seen before in uh, when I was in elementary school. They had one of these games where you threw a ball in the top of that thing, and then the ball would come out one of the holes. But I never knew how to play the game that went along with it when I was in elementary. So. I never had any idea what it was for. Is this red meat to be cooked? I think it is. So let's cook some meat and just see if that has any interesting function. 